We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up EUR GBP. We are on a monthly time frame. Price action, last candle to the right hand side is a bearish red candle. Look like it's coming from an area of resistance. We do have price action overall. Higher highs. Price action overall. Lower lows. Midpoint. Also adding second level highs. And third level highs. So let's zoom in the price and see what's going on. So current price is sitting at 0 0.87091. So price action is a bearish red doji. Coming from the second last candle with the long push down. Price action is side by side within the second last candle. So that's some consolidation happening in that area. And there's a whole bunch of patterns in that area as well. So if price action work its way up, we know it can head up to that resistance line that we created at 0 0.89542. But before it makes it there, it can stop at that midpoint of that area right above price at 0 0.88204. And if price decides to work its way down, we look at the midpoint of that area between the white SR lines and market it can head down to 0 0.85883. So let's look for patterns in the market to see what the market direction marks are going to. So we have a lot of lip wicks. It's a lot of patterns inside patterns. The second last candle has a long wick up to the top, identifying that it can be a drop in that market. So if that market decides to decline, it's coming from multiple pushes to that top, about five. So we have one, two, three, four, five, maybe six, so six pushes or uh, five pushes in a retest. And then the market can drop down. If the market is respected for that market to go up, then we are looking for that overall first, second, third, fourth retest. Market pushed up, retest that midpoint of that of that area of the SR line so it can work its way up from that triple bottom in a retest. If not, it can receive that consolidation sideways as it's currently doing because price action is a doji. So we don't know if that market is identifying uh, and also there's a pattern inside a pattern. So below that area, there's also a double bottom. So we don't know if that market's trying to identify that first, second, third, fourth retest with the price action can do. And if we receive a bullish green can do to a push above the second last can do bodies, it can push that market up to the next XR line. But to really see that market clear and pushes out, you definitely want to see it close out to the top. So it could be a lot of wicks in that market as well. Working our way to the weekly time frame. Price action the weekly time frame is a bullish green candle. Okay, so you can see it's working its way down from this long um, wick up to that top. So it's lost a lot of momentum to that top side. So if so, Mark is reading from four pushes to the top. So we got a quadruple top here. Market came back to retest. And now we can see markets trying to work its way down. So market already made it back to that midpoint. So we're going to see if that market is going to break through that midpoint to work its way down further. But we do know we got that bullish green candle. So it could be coming up from that area, which will be identified overall first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest, and the market push up. If price action engulfed that second last candle, that second last candle is a huge doji side by side with the third last candle. So you definitely want to see price start breaking above that second and third last candle bodies and then start clearing those wicks. Working our way down to, and also there's another pattern in this area here too. So this market does work its way down. It could be identified as a first, second, third, fourth. So price action could be the retest of the double top and the market's work its way down from a double top and retest. So as we walk down the time frame, we're gonna see if we can figure out what's happening. Daily time frame market still stopped at a midpoint of that area. So we're gonna put another SR line right where current price is at between the 
yellow SR lines. So we can see that Mars is still Mark is still trying to figure out what it's going to do. We know it lost a lot of momentum from this top side, so it's, it's in that decline. But we don't know if Mark. We're not sure if Mark is going to be respected at the support. So we can see the pattern. There's a pattern inside pattern. So if we connect the resistance. We can see that uh, resistance is creating that downtrend. But we connect the support. We can see that market is in that wedge pattern. So it's a wedge pattern overall. So we're still looking for that breakout, of that wedge, the top side, the downside. So we can see that so many patterns in that area: first, second, third, fourth. Retest stopped right at that uh, resistance that can push down. If not, if we receive the break. You guys identify the first, second, third, fourth, and then market can start working his way out. Working our way down to the four hour time frame. So on the four hour time frame, we are identifying as price action as a bullish green candle coming from a second last candle as a retest. So it could be just tagging that resistance. So Mark is trying to break this area. So Mark is actually in the zone. So you're looking for the market to break that second to last candle in the market, which is that doji to the top side of the bottom side. So market did identify the break. So we can see that first, second, third. If we receive engulfment pattern here to the downside of the second last candle, market's creating that double top. If not, second last candle is a retest price that can still be, still create that momentum to push up. If so, we'll identify that first, second, third, fourth retest and the market pushes up or I say first, second, third, fourth retest, one retest the market push up for the second time. But so far we got to wait until market to engulf that second and last candle to the top side or bottom side to push that market in that direction. Same as the three hour time frame. So it's identifying third candle pushed up, second candle came back to retest. Price is trying to push up. If not, it's rejected and the market can engulf that zone area and work its way down. Headed down, down to the two hour time frame. Same as well. So, markets consolidating within that area. Why price, second, third, last candle, all side by side within that zone. Still looking for that pattern to identify itself. One hour time frame. So, now we're seeing that price action is a bearish red candle. So, we can see that markets trying to form. If price action go off, that second last candle is going to work its way back down to previous numbers of zero, near the numbers of zero point. A6864 and identify as a first, second, third, because second last candle has a push up to the top. Price action go off the second last candle coming down for that double top. If not, we'll see that market will be respected for that incline. Price action bullish green candle still side by side with uh, below that midpoint. So it could be identifying that first, second, third came back to retest the previous side and push up. But so far, still overall. It's still consolidating. So if you want to see the market do something, it has to engulf that third to last candle in a 45 minute time frame. Even on a 30 minute time frame, price action has engulfed that third to la fourth to last candle in a 30 minute time frame to push that market up in that direction or down. But so far, market is in consolidation because we know when we're in the zone, but also as we start dropping down to a lower time frame to 45 minutes to one hour, and now currently to 15 minutes, we still looking for that market to identify the break of this area here, that consolidation. So we can see markets creating so many patterns as a first, second, third, fourth, came back to retest one, second last candle retest, and then price action engulfed that previous side, second last candle can push down from another uh, double top formation. If not, we'll see that market can be respected. Walk down to the five minute time frame, price action, bearish red candle, long wick down to the bottom, second third fourth the last candle as well has a long wick down to the bottom so if this close out like this could be turned around for that first second third and mark his work his way up for that w formation but if not we are looking for price to engulf uh the fourth the last candle body and wick to push that market down three minute time frame same as well still haven't received the golf into the downside of this candle here if so you'll see that market drop if not if this wick stays like this, it can create enough momentum. If we receive a bullish green candle, we will see that formation of that W in a one minute time frame. And we can see the market's trying to reverse or come back to retest price action, bullish green candle, price action. Now bullish green candle still trying to work its way up. If it closed above the third to last candle, which is just reversed again, it can push itself up. But this area here is consolidation. EUR.